Hello, what is happening guys? Mantis back with you again with some more Golden Attitude content and today I'm going to speak about why doing what you love and following your passion can be a very very dangerous advice for a lot of people. So you have probably seen people like Steve Jobs um, basically saying you have to follow your passion and do what you love, right? But a lot of people they interpret it in the wrong way. So what do people actually think by doing what you love is to basically find something that you love doing and doing just that thing to satisfy yourself right but it's actually a very dangerous advice because it doesn't meet the criteria and the needs of the people right so doing what you love actually means something to satisfy your own needs to satisfy your own cravings for something right so when you start doing what you love and you start becoming passionate about it and just doing that one thing in order to satisfy yourself you don't actually take into account the rest of the people that could actually benefit from what you love doing so let's get that straight the world doesn't really care what you love right there are so many people in this world the population 7.8 billion right and there are so many people in this world that actually love what they do right and if they if everybody starts following their passion right and start satisfying their own egoistic needs how is anyone going to benefit from it so this is why following your passion can be so dangerous because it doesn't meet the criteria it doesn't meet the needs of the market of the world right what do people actually need majority of the time people need to have their problems solved right this is why you have some of the most successful companies like uber for example they have solved the problem of uh, taxi drivers being robbed for cash and airbnb for example they have made a platform where people can rent out their house online without actually interacting with the customer to begin with solving these problems is what actually starts fueling your passion in the long run so for example let's say Say you're a fitness influencer right and you start a fitness blog where you start sharing workout tips and exercises and your diet right so once you start sharing a lot of that content in order to satisfy your own needs you what you need to do is you need to take into account what do other people actually need how can other people benefit from it because if you just doing it for your own satisfaction for your own need not taking other people into account it's not gonna work and there are so many um, different fitness blogs right uh, on food exercises and lifestyle choices that are completely empty they don't attract customers they don't attract any visitors as well because those websites those fitness blogs are only focusing on the needs of that one individual so obviously you need to start Start doing something that you love right and in order to start doing that you need to combine it with something that other people can benefit from right and once you start getting feedback from other people then you need to go and adjust in order to solve other people's problems so for example if you love food right if you love eating nice food probably unhealthy as well eating that food in the long run will obviously make you overweight and less healthy which is actually bad in the long run but you but you like that food to begin with right so you know for a fact that you can't continue doing what you love you can't be eating that food because it has got a lot of negative consequences in the long run so now what you need to do is need to adapt and tailor that uh, solution to, to the world right and you need to start getting feedback because if you're able to impact somebody else's life it's gonna fuel your passion that positive feedback um, when you start receiving it is gonna start fueling your passion and then you're gonna start adapting to the needs of the world and this is how you start solving problems initially so solving problems for other people and just delivering an act of service right it's probably one of the most fundamental and the most important rules and aspects Aspects when you start doing something new for example if you want to start a new business right if you want to start a new venture in something that you do for example you want to start a new blog right how are you going to solve other people's problems because if you want to make money from it if you want to deliver a service you need to solve something you need to change the life of somebody else so they would be willing to reciprocate to you and this is why this notion do what you love and follow your passion can be 
so so dangerous because once you start receiving that positive feedback then you're able to tailor that solution for the real world needs and which is going to actually fuel your passion even more because if you receive a positive feedback from somebody else it's going to inspire you it's going to definitely motivate you to push forward and at that point you will definitely know that you're doing something right and people are benefiting from it so it's actually going to motivate you even more to do more content to push out more to come up with new solutions on how you can reciprocate how you can impact other people's lives essentially what you need to do is basically you need to solve problems because the world in its own essence in its nature is very very selfish right and encountering the world what you need to do is because you need to provide always for the needs for the selfish needs of the world you always need to come up with different solutions solving other people's problems and in this way it will fuel your passion even more for something that you love doing so that's pretty much it with the video thanks for watching guys and i will speak to you next time take care